Hey everybody, it's Andy in the Maker Lab at Micro Center and we've got Jordan on the camera today. Hey guys. And you've probably already heard all about this and even seen some pictures and videos. This is the Bamboo Lab A1. And this is the newest in their line of entry level printers with anything but entry level specs. So today we're gonna to talk all about this. First off, the unboxing, one of my favorite unboxing experiences ever. All of these printers from Bamboo have such fun packaging and they make it so smart for shipping. Putting it together was a breeze as well with their included documentation that you always get. Uh, we got it up and running. We got it connected to our Bamboo Labs account so that we can take a look at it via the Bamboo Handy app and via the Bamboo Slicer. And you may notice that it's not just the A1 printer. This is the A1 combo and it comes complete with the AMS Lite, which has a bunch of benefits, which we'll talk about later. So following on the success of the A1 Mini, its younger brother, the A1 takes a lot of the new features for this line of printers and puts them in a printer with a bigger build volume and dual Z rods. He is sporting a 256 millimeter cubed build volume. Unlike his little brother, the A1 Mini, which sports a 180 cubed build volume. Now that we've talked about the unboxing and the assembly, we're gonna talk about the specs. As you can see, as it's printing this snowflake, it's moving pretty fast for a bed slinger. That's because the A1 from Bamboo Lab has up to 500 millimeters per second for the hot end for its movement. It has 10,000 millimeters per second for acceleration. That's pretty fast. If you think about some of your older printers like the Ender 3, the Ender 3 V2, the S1, S1 started to get a little bit faster, but for the most part, those printers did well in the 100 to 120 range and they were pushing it. These new printers from Bamboo and some of the other manufacturers are pushing speeds of 500 millimeters per second, so we're glad to see that. It's basically reducing the amount of time it takes to create a model. So if your output before was four hours for a snowflake, maybe at this point, now you're down to something like two hours. Now this snowflake's not gonna take four hours, uh, but that's just an example. Um, what's also really cool about this is the included AMS light. So before at this price point, around $559 for the A1 combo, you weren't getting multi-material, right? You weren't being able to print with four different colors at one time. At $559 US dollars, you're getting the A1 unit and the AMS light, um, which will allow you to load different spools onto it, as you can see here. And then it very smartly through the bamboo bus talks over to the motors and then tells the filament to go into this combiner right here. And what's neat about that is that basically on the old AMS or the original AMS, uh, it would have to retract this filament the whole way back to the source of the AMS. Whereas because of this design, it's retracting it a lot less far and reducing the amount of time between color changes. Now we're doing a pretty simple model right here with the snowflake, but we will have a color change in a little bit when it switches over to the Micro Center logo in red. Red's my favorite color. So one of the things is it has a couple of different detections in here. It can detect if there's a tangle coming from the filament. Basically it can detect if it's pulling too much uh, as it's trying to push filament through. It has active flow compensation so it can make sure that it's putting out enough filament to keep a consistent and accurate model. Uh, and then also it can tell if it's out of filament completely and it will send you a notification via the Bamboo Handy app or via the slicer. One of the really, really cool things about this hot end is the fact that when it's cooled down, you can actually swap out the nozzle without any tools. So you pull off the silicon sock, you undo one latch, and then it's magnetically attached and you can pull it out. Now, while some of you might think, oh, well, that must mean that there's gonna be a whole bunch of clogs and that's why they did that. No, the reason they did that was because you may wanna swap out between different diameters of nozzles. So there's benefit to doing a 0.2 nozzle versus a 0.8 nozzle and 0.4 and 0.6 in between. So the really nice thing is if you wanna switch over to that 0.6 nozzle, it's way easier on these A1 series printers because of that toolless hot end change. And I don't know how much you can hear this over my mic right now, but this printer is actually pretty quiet. And a lot of that's due to the noise dampening that it does with its motors. It actively does somewhat like noise canceling where, where it's going in one motion, it'll create the inverse wave to kind of cancel that out on the motor. 
Um, that keeps the motors pretty quiet for how fast it's going. Uh, and then you might hear the fan kick on a little bit here and there. It's really not that bad for, again, how fast it's going and on an open frame bed slinger type printer. So just like on the A1 Mini, you have the purge ejector over here, the same type of purge ejector uh, that basically takes whenever it's doing a filament swap or whenever it's changing out filament, it will come over and park over here on top of this piece. It will push against this and it will load in uh, an amount of filament. And then once it's done, it'll let loose and that will push it out. Basically what that does is it pushes off any filament changes off to the side here. Now, people have been creating some different buckets to capture that, um, that purge. Uh, some people refer to it as printer poop, which is fun. So let's talk connectivity for a minute. So the Bamboo Lab has these brilliant color screens that include Wi-Fi so that you can connect to the Bamboo Handy app on your phone and to the Bamboo Lab slicer on the computer. And what's nice about that is the printer actually includes a camera right here. If I remove this privacy filter and turn it on, you can come over to the computer with me and see that we can monitor what's going on on that print. So right now in the Bamboo Slicer, we're able to monitor the fact that we're printing that snowflake. And if there are any errors, we can stop it from here. So another nice feature of this piece over here is that it has an LED light, which helps light the bed in dark scenarios. I think it looks really cool when all the lights are off in a room and the only light you see is this light here shining down onto the bed. This touchscreen is actually very nice as well and allows you to manipulate features such as telling the printer which types of filament and what color are connected in your AMS light. Being able to visually see that uh, represented and manipulate that on that screen right there locally is a really great feature. Features that normally you would only get on their X1C unit. So again, it's really exciting. I know the community is excited about this printer. A lot of people uh, say, hey, we want a bigger uh, version of the X1C, but I really think this entry-level bed slinger, again, with anything but entry-level specs, uh, is a great addition to Bamboo's family. I think that having the AMS light and having multiple mounting options for it is going to be great. Um, I think that if this is your first uh, dive into a 3D printer, you're going to be pleasantly surprised and really happy with the amount of features that you get for the 559 price point. And I think the reliability of these printers has gone up tremendously over the past couple of years. Bamboo aside, 3D printers have just taken a great leap in terms of what you can produce, how it's being produced, and the lack of fidgeting that you, the end user, have to do with them. So now that we've introduced this printer to you, we'd love to hear in the comments below what you're gonna make with your brand new Bamboo A1. What other things do you think are possible now that you've got this kind of speed on a bed slinger with four color multi-material at this volume? And then if you've made it this far in the video, make sure to comment down below, hashtag I want a micro center near me with your location and where you wanna see a micro center go next. like an airline stewardess. You may now exit off the left of the plane. That's my right. Your left. <laughs> it's a theater thing. Stage right. Keep all this in. It'll be a hit someday.